YouTube. Oh, Facebook too, huh? On Johnny's Facebook. All right. Let me go to YouTube. The boob tube. <laughs> All right. We got one watching, and I think it's me. Awesome. Awesome. There Hello, we go. everybody. You're friend? live. We're live. Hello, everybody out there. Um, everybody on Instagram, everybody on YouTube, and Facebook over here, I guess. But uh, we're live on the Instagram page on the Gizmachi Instagram. And uh, my esteemed colleague, Johnny Bean, has allowed us to go live on his YouTube channel at the same time. So we are on three different platforms right now. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So let me pull the chat up on the uh, on the Facebook. So I'm not looking here, looking there, looking here. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it's super close on Instagram, but that's just how you got to deal with it because uh, I got to read the comments. Oh, it there. looks fine. It does? Okay. It looks. It, yeah, I'm watching on Instagram. You look great. Does, does it look fine? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right, live chat. We pop it out. Okay. All right. What is Mike doing? Live chat. Well, I guess I'll start with saying uh, anybody or everybody that has checked out um, our first song released in 15 years, which is crazy. Uh, can have a, you know a lot of things considered. Where is Mike? <laughs> I don't know. I'll talk to you though. Yeah, you can talk to me. Thanks. I'll, I'll talk to you. Hey, this is Johnny Bean. I'm uh, behind the scenes here producing for Jay Hannon. For Gizmachi. Ow. Yeah. Is it, it's Giz, Gizmachi. What's the website? Um, just on Instagram. It's just Gizmachi Band. Um, please give a follow over there and check out the, like I said, the first song that we've released in 15 years, almost 15 years. So that's cool. It's exciting stuff for us at least, you know? <laughs> oh, people are jumping over here instead of Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I figured that, which is fine. I mean, Raymond you know. says he's on Facebook instead of IG. You can jump back and you, everybody that's watching this stuff, you can jump back and forth between the three of them. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there's links in the description to the Gizmachi Facebook and Instagram. So you can watch all three. You'll see three different, three different feeds, three different chats. Okay. Mike joined on Instagram finally. So let me send him an invite. Jesus. You know, we only get an hour on Instagram balls. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Can you hear him? I'm not old. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. sideways. <laughs> uh, I gotta hold it straight up. Yeah, straight up. Now tell me. Yeah, he's sideways. Yeah. I hear him. I can hear him. Okay. What's going on? Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Had to brush your hair. All right, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing either, but that's all right. So um, we got people in the chat here. On uh, I don't know if you can you see the the chat as well, Mike on. Instagram? Yeah, on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So if you see any questions there, or if I see any questions, you handle the questions in uh, on the Instagram part, and then we'll both discuss, I guess. But let me say hi to a few people first. We got, uh, I'll do a quick roll call on YouTube. Dwight Bailey, Mickey Settlemeyer, Clayton James Hicks, 1998 Hicks. He says, today is Stratterday. Uh, Thrash Metal and Fun Riff says he has the Gizmachi CD from 2006. <laughs> I think it's 2005, but close enough, right? Um, John Bulware, Papa Blue, John BL 5150. Hey, John. Charles Green, Janice Lala. She says she can't watch. She'll try to watch the replay. And a bunch of other people there. And on Instagram, who do we have? We got 19 people watching on Instagram. Mike, you want to read some names? It'd be cool if I could uh, connect to my speaker somehow. Am I not loud enough? I don't know. It's probably just me. I got this fan blasting in here. It's hot. Of course it's hot. When you got the friggin' the bear pelt on your head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There he is. 
Hey, Gilmore's yes. here. We can't invite we can't invite more than more than one person on here. That's what sucks. Um, Jason McNamara is here. We got Shannon Gilmore. Uh, we got right. Megan. Megan was Jeannie's cousin from Connecticut. Hi, Megan. It's Brad is here. Crunked Spike is here. Museum of Random. I believe that's my cousin. No, Museum no, of not. Museum of Random is Jimmy Theato. That's right. Yep. I got confused for a second. That was yep. my cousin, uh, James McCaffrey. Yep. We got Hello. Ray Ray Baca is in the chat. Um. Something ghost. I know that. Yeah. Well, everybody, hello. Dave Nesdal in the chat on YouTube wants to know where can we hear the song. Well, you can hear the song. Right now, it's only on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. Uh, Jimmy, the drummer, made a fun video for it. Um, and yeah, go check it out. Hey. Definitely check it out. <laughs> Any more songs about fucking rainbows and shit? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's talking about Voice of Sanity, right? Who? Oh, I missed show it. Your, show your rainbow. Oh. Yeah. And what if there was, down. Jimmy? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I guess, um, yeah, get some questions. Everybody, everybody's just saying hi. Um, Gilmore's here. Shave, Jay? I shaved yesterday. How do I look? Is that all right? You know, it's your typical uh, five o'clock shadow vibe. The Kip Winger, man. The 1992 or one era Kip Winger. I love it. Because if, if I don't shave... If I if I clean shave this, my nose is shadowy anymore, man. Getting that white, dude. Yeah, my nose gets mad big if I if I completely bick it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, That's you... why I never never get rid of it now. Yep. Uh, it's Brad says just glad to finally hear some new tunes. Something, something like that. Yeah. You guys can see that. Yeah. Dancer video shoot 2005, all clean shaven. Look at that. Anybody on? Oh my God. If anybody on Instagram sees that, that's crazy. Balls looks like he's 12. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Good times. Yep. Um, we got a question here from JL Woods 30. He asks, uh, are y'all still on Clown's label? No, we are not. Uh, I don't even believe Clown has a label anymore. And he's, he's referring to Clown from Slipknot. I'm sure everybody kind of knows that that's in the metal world and stuff like that. Um. Museum of Random wants to know how's the new kid OJ. Awesome. Thank you for asking. Uh, what else you got over there, Mike? Can you read them? Join Cole Rizzo. What? <laughs> <laughs> join. We got some joins. We got some people coming on. Well, that's good. We got 19 over there. Why is my shit not scrolling anymore? You know, okay, here we go. I guess when you backtrack and look at the previous questions or comments or whatever, like it doesn't scroll anymore. You gotta go all the way to the bottom. Oh. Uh Vista Lights nineteen seventy two over on Facebook or on YouTube wants to know what was the inspiration for the new song slash album? Uh can we be one of those bands that really there's just we're inspired by what we listen to, and, you know, it's no one thing, Paradox. Well, lyrically, that's, it's Bjorn. You know? Yeah, you, you wrote the, um, well, you wrote the middle part with the, yeah, the know, slow melodic part, singing. Yeah, the slow part where I sing on Paradox, I, sang, I wrote those lyrics. Pain and Suffering begins, you know, all that section. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a, a direct inspiration for any of our any of our stuff. Really, it's just right. Just write it and play it. Pretty much. Um. What else? I mean, it could pertain to a lot of different things. It's open ended kind of lyrics. We kind of like doing that, though. You know, not yeah. some yeah. It doesn't lock you into like one specific theme. You know, it could pertain to a bunch of different things. We've always been about that lyrically, so. Yeah, I think uh, when a band comes out and you hear a song and it's like, it hits you somewhere, it means something to you in some way, and then the band or the singer comes out and tells you what the song's about, and you're like, oh man, that had nothing, and it almost like loses a little bit of um, 
you know. Yeah, little little gusto. Like, yeah. Be like, ah, it meant this to me. I guess it's weird hearing what that song's actually about. It could ruin it sometimes. Yeah, I think so. When can I hear Winter? When we release it. <laughs> <laughs> when we release the whole thing. Yeah, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal with the new album. I know a lot of people have been asking, uh, like, when are you guys going to put the songs on streaming and when's the album actually going to come out? Right now is, is a tricky time because the music industry is basically at a standstill. Um, everything. Everything, you know. Standstill. Yeah, so we're kind of, like, stuck right now. It's like the album's finally done. Everybody's waited, you know, 15 years. And uh, we, we kind of can't. We can technically put it out, but I don't think it's uh we want to have a little bit of promotion and, and and oomph behind it. And we can't really do that if the music industry is yeah. is, is at a standstill. So we, we kind of gotta wait a little bit. But the album is done. It's completed. We have we have the out, you know, not the physical copy, but we have the file, like everything is done. It's not like yep. uh any you know now anything. it's printing it and you know doing that stuff and Try yeah. to come up with a good good timing as far as to release it. And uh yep. yeah, it's just it's awesome to be finally done with it after all this time to just you know have these songs done and completed, mastered, and just it's awesome. Yeah. And we got Mark it. Lewis did a great job for us. Yeah, he did. Mark Lewis mixing and mastering. Yep. Yeah. Give him a follow on all platforms. But yeah, we got some cool questions here. Um I'm gonna leave one of these to you balls um bent rosam on on youtube asks what is your favorite part of the new song or sound slash tone sound slash what tone t-o-n-e well, what's your favorite part of the new song i'll leave it at that i like the way we kind of change the rhythm around the you know that chromatic riff as mm -hmm. i heard it referred to earlier yep yeah, I like how we do variations of that riff. You know, the drums and the you know the timing kind of changes around that that riff, where it's just simple, like kind of was like two, three, four, five. You know, just the on the frets. You know, just chromatic kind of going up. Mm -hmm. and then we go, you know, well, like right before the end, and then it goes back up again. It's like descending and then ascending. I think it's cool how we work that uh, that section of the song. I think that's like the theme throughout. It's a good one. Yeah, well, I'll follow that up with. Uh, I mean, those type of riffs are fun because it's if it's in an odd time signature, and the drums are straight, it like on the first pass it'll be like on the downbeat, and then the second time it'll be on the upbeat, and it kind of throws you for a loop. That's why the playing out playing playing a lot of like the polyrhythmic riffs is a lot of fun. Keeps you on on your toes, you know. Sure does. Yeah, one of my favorite parts. Of course, I'm partial to the middle part, the clean section. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like kind of what I do in the band. I, you know, I bring uh, the clean area where Jay used to be back in the day, like the clean guitar player and Gizmachi. But then I joined up and then he let me take the reins with that. And I kind of do the clean guitar stuff. Yep. Um, here's another one for yeah, you. Some shit too. Nug Nuts Tattoo asks. <laughs> Is Nemesis Bjorn, and if not, will it be on the record? Nemesis is still up on SoundCloud. It's actually not with Bjorn. It's a different version of another song that's on the album. It has a different title now, a different theme. So long or short answer is it's on the album, but it's the vocals and the lyrics are completely different. Yes. Um, we got... Uh, JL Woods 30 asks, what was it like getting back in the studio after so many years? Okay, let me let me start with this one. Uh, I'll go over the recording um, timeline, if you will. All these songs, for the most part, in their rare forms, were written between 2006 to 2008, and two songs were actually written before we went into the studio in 2004 to do the imbuing, but they weren't finished. They were kind of like, you know, almost done, but not really ready to, to be put on a record. Yeah. So the drums were recorded in March of 2010. The rhythm guitars were recorded in the summer of 2010. The bass guitar was recorded in the 
November of 2011, right? Yep, somewhere around there. Your vocals were recorded when? My vocals were recorded in 2000, like 2013. That's so we already went past like when we were going to be releasing it. It got pushed back a bit, right? At that point. Well, maybe maybe 15. it was 2012 then. It might have been 2012, but whatever yeah. it was, either 12 or 13. And then, uh, for those of you who don't know, Bjorn Strid from Soil Work is the vocalist, along with Mike, on the new album. And he recorded his, his vocals from the end of 2016 to the beginning of 2017. And then there were some other things going on that kind of kept pushing everything back. Me was part of it, taking a long time to do my leads and solos and stuff. But, you know, we'll save that for another day. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's just great to finally have it uh, have it completed and out, and um, well, one song anyway. Yeah, one. Well, I'm just yeah, the one song. But the album's done. Yeah, um, so it's good to have it done. Yeah. yeah. All right. Always with the fart noises. Who's Mr. Soups? There you go, Soups. There you go. Yeah. Uh, what else? Is it true you guys had a tape called Melee? Yes, we did. That was our demo album before we got signed and put out the imbuing well it wasn't really a demo though we kind of went all out with that we pressed it you know and had it mastered oh when you hear it it's a demo <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um let's see another question on youtube here uh john bolware hey john he says what year did the guitar players and bass player you oh Sorry, I, we already added that. I guess that we talked about it as you were asking it. Um, Fruitcake Tony, is there any talk of doing any shows after all this crazy time? We're going to wait until another time to kind of address that because, like I said, everything's at a standstill now and we really can't. You, you can't know. really gauge like how you know, the impact we're going to have with it. Yeah, and also, you know, Bjorn lives in Sweden. For those of yeah. you who don't know, uh, Soil Work is a Swedish metal band that is all of like i think everybody in the band um soil work is one of our favorites um what else you got you're definitely one of our favorite metal vocalists for sure yeah you know, the wide range of things that he could do and you know, pretty premiere <laughs> um it's brad says these songs are that old and they still sound fresh hey do you have the whole album or something <laughs> What's going on here? Yes, several. Yep. Uh, Some of our closer friends have heard a little bit more, but it's what you would kind of expect to. Yeah. Forest we're all Stumps. Really into music and you know we all play each other, each other's projects and things we do, and show each other different bands all the time. So you know things get shown to people, but hey. Yep. That's it is. Um. Is it coming to Apple? That's what Forrest Stump asks. Yeah, it'll be on Apple Music. It'll be on all streaming platforms. Yeah, it's going to be released for everybody. For yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Shermer Dave says, go out with 40 Below Summer, a blast from the past. <laughs> I when I listen to those guys, I like remember that time in the early 2000s. You know, you know, 40 Below Summer, we played with them a bunch back in the day. They actually uh, gave us a, a lot of cool shows early on. Yep. Um, Gabriel Hendrickson asks, who is the person talking in the beginning of the song, People Show? Balls, who is that? It's him, Sean Crayon. That's Clown from Slipknot. He helped us, uh, you know, make the whole imbuing come into fruition. It was had a lot to do with him. Uh, yeah, he produced, produced the album. Yep. Um, a lot to do with that album. Museum of Random. I'm not going to read your question, but I'll just say we have no idea. Um, the Dog Paw on YouTube asks, says, so I missed the song. We can't, uh, with the whole copyright crap, we can't play the song on here. But if you want, when we're done bullshitting for the next whatever, just go over to uh, the Instagram. Is this feeding back on here? Go over to the Gizmachi. No, sounds fine. Sounds okay. good. Gizmachi Instagram page, Gizmachi Band, and check out the video we posted today. Sorry, I'm moving stuff around here. Uh, and check it out. So, 
Mike, what are you doing? I'm making a beverage. What are you letting the dog out or something? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm disturbing this. <laughs> Drew Marshall Drum says, you guys had a demo on MySpace a while ago that won something like all, all the tension. Man, I have no I don't know what that is. I'll have to what check is. I'll have to check that out. He he listed some lyrics on there. Um oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna yeah. He's talking about the demo we put up of the end of uh of the title track of the new album. That's going to be on there, man. That yeah, we have a title track song in the new album? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's saying we had the end of the title track on YouTube or on MySpace years ago. We put up like the clip of the demo that we recorded back then on MySpace. Demo of what? That's, what's the title track of the new album? Okay. Yeah. We had the end of that song, the demo version, on our MySpace page. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. I had no clue. Oh, I did too, until he just reminded me. <laughs> wow. Certain things we forgot about at this point. Yep. 15 years will kind of do that to you. Yep. Brian Hobgood says, will you guys have pre-order links? Yes. As soon as everything is kind of ironed out with uh, distribution and, and once the, like I said before, once the music industry gets back on its feet, once the whole world gets back on its feet, I should say. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll be, uh, you'll, you'll see all that stuff. It's going to, it's going to have an official release and all that stuff. We just got to do it right. So it will be happening. Um, let's see what else we got here. Some dude Dave or some Dave dude says to Cameron Brown, entertained by your talent, glad you're a guitarist and not a baker. Okay. <laughs> what about winter? Everyone's surprising me with their response to winter. A lot of people are like winter gonna be on the album. Winter? Yes. Well, it's because that was uh for the past for the last few tours we did, that was the song we came out to. Yes. Everyone's like, wait a minute, what is that? Mm -hmm. That is on the new album. It's uh Yes. Sure is. That's where we'll leave it. <laughs> yep. Fruitcake Tony says, Jay, there's no more guitar or Gizmachi guitar picks on eBay. He got at least three. Dude, this guy Tony in the chat, he has a guitar pick, a Gizmachi pick that I had never seen before. Like one that we use on a tour or something? No, because uh, we have the orange ones and the black ones. Yeah, we only have the orange ones and the black ones from OzFest. Yeah, he has like a... The, the OzFest devil on the back. The other one had the actual Dunlop logo, I think, on the back, right? Or, yeah, I think I have a couple of them here. I just, I don't know. Wait, are they right here? That's convenient. Look at that. Yeah, we use the orange ones. Now Jay moved on. He's just like onto the yellows now. All thick and thick with life. Yep, and the... Uh, the Jazz 3 ones, a little sharper. Yeah, the little, yeah yep. get that little angle on it. Yep, I prefer I've been using it. those a little bit more now. Still got all the ones you gave me. So here's, it's a little worn off, but I've shown it's these on, on Johnny's JD show before. Pick right here. There you go. You showing one? Mm-hmm. John Petrucci. Using the John Super Petrucci picks, pick. really? Yeah, JP pick. It's got that smooth edge on it. Man. Like shark tooth. Yeah, I know a lot of guys that use those, man. They love them. They swear by them. I tried the other, not the Petrucci ones, but uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Obasi. Yeah, the same, the same style, and I just couldn't uh, really. Um, Animals is leaders pick. Uh, sorry if I'm messing your name up, but Maddie Hazelnut says, "I love you guys." Who invented the crazy Mashuga Mosh in Wandering Eyes? I'm. Are you talking about the drum part? The Sugar, da, 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 da. What? Oh. I'm talking about the breakdown. I'm wondering. Oh. Um, da, 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 da. The bridge right. bending part you're talking about. The bridge bend part, yeah. Who invented that? That was you. You used to always like not have the whammy bar in and grab the bridge and dive shit. You used well, to do that at band practice all the time. <laughs> well, the, yeah. I remember I was joking around doing him a sugar riff with it. And then Jimmy, yeah. our drummer, said... We should we should write a riff like that, and then that was it. And we yeah. he played a drum beat, do do do, ba do 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 do, and all of a sudden it was like 
it's yeah, how Jimmy it happens. usually comes up with like the coolest shit. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like all the funky <laughs> rhythms and stuff. That's literally Jimmy doing all that. Um, yeah. In the chat on YouTube, uh, Brendan B squared, who is our buddy Brendan Buttcheek, says, "I don't think I have one, but I did get a VIP VIP treatment at the Chicago <laughs> Ozfest." Oh, yeah. VIP. He means very immense penis. Very immense. That's what he means. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Brian Hobgood asks, are there any tracks similar to Voice of Sanity? That song has killer progression and is on a level of its own. Killer track. Yes, I would say that on the new album, there is one song that has the vibe of Voice of Sanity. I was going to say two songs, but no, one, I guess only in length, you could say they're comparable, but as far as actual vibe and the song has a section where it's kind of like the slow area of Voice of Sanity, one of the songs in the album, mm -hmm. and the progression and the, the vibe of it, but not quite like that. It's, it's similar. Though. That's the closest one I could think of. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I will say this. I'm not going to give away the, any like track listing song titles and stuff. We're going to wait till we put out a, a press release with all that stuff. But I will say that two things. There's 11 songs on the album, and it's a tit over 60 minutes long. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, epic songs on here. And we were just like, screw it. Let's just go balls to the wall. Let's go all out here and just, uh, you know, put a banger out. <laughs> Yeah, we got an eight minute, a nine minute, several high fives. Yeah. A couple of mid sixes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we have like a couple like breaking four, you know, like there's a couple of those too. So it's like it's all over the place. It's real you'll hear it. It's it's varied. It's it goes all over the place. Not just like one thing. You you heard paradox, but now right away it's gonna change up. Yeah. The next track you'll see. Um, the John Bolware says, "Will we if we go on tour? Basically, will we be, will we be getting backline texts in the future?" <laughs> Dude, I wish, man, that would be nice. That would be funny, you know. But no, I I highly doubt it. Unless uh, the world ends. Um, what's Uncle Balls drinking? Um, ginger ale and gin. So a yeah. ginger ale. That's right. It's a gin and ginger, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna. Ha uh, I, I was gonna have a drink yeah, with you. Easy. I was gonna have a drink with you tonight, but um, I just got word that I have to mix a song tonight after we're off. So my what? ears. Yeah, my ears need to be fresh, man. You got a job? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get crazy now. Take it easy. Yeah. Um, we got some cool questions here. Uh. Mr. Soup says Jimmy is a mad genius. Yes, he is. Newberg Mike, which is our buddy Mike Ponder, says, fuck yeah, Jimmy the Hatch Man. Jimmy's kind of a little bit of a savant with fucking his, what he thinks is cool and what he doesn't think is cool. We pretty much go off of, especially Jay. Yeah, because I, I, I look back, especially early on with Gizmachi, and um, he would, Jimmy was always like, he was always right, you know, and we wouldn't do something that he would suggest, and then we look back and it's like, Damn, you're man. Mad, fucking cool. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it is, but like, is it that cool? It's like, I'm telling you, fucking, you guys are fucking up. Yep. You tell us all the time. And like, you know, sometimes we wouldn't listen to him for good reason. Like, he's either hot or cold. Than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what amps are you guys using now? I'll let you answer that, Mike. Bubba Busky 45 asked that question. What amps we're using right now? We've been using Mesa Engineering. You're using a bit of Yamaha, right? Well, I'm just my practice amp is the Yamaha yeah. THR 10X, which is awesome. Yeah, I played on that thing when I went to visit them this past summer. It was it was awesome. Yep. You know, it's just like a cool practice amp. It's got a really full sound to it, like just being a little amp. Like I remember when I got my first little amp, and it was just like super one dimensional and just not good. And now they just perfect the technology in a way that get a little tiny practice amp. It sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. But what are you playing through? I'm playing through my uh, messed with Simul Class 290 power amp, which I got altered. 
couple months ago. Modded. So it wouldn't be modded, so it wouldn't run so hot anymore. And I have it going through a Pod HD 500X, courtesy of Christian Gilmore. Who? I've been playing on. And just, you know, doing some recording with Pro Tools, you know. Sort of thing that Jay's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if, if we were to play live again, I'd, I'd, would I use the same rig we used? The JMP, Marshall JMP1, going to the simul class, or would I bring probably, a... Probably not. Like my, I like my board better. I was using a Boss GT3, is it? Yeah, we were, the GT6 maybe it was, or 5. No, the GT6 is the, the gold one. I have a GT3, and like I use that, and I got that thing like dialed in. Especially going through the power amp, it got more organic. I remember I used to use it through like a regular head, and it just wasn't, it didn't sound right. It sounded digital. But as soon as I put it through that, those tubes, that mm. simul class, that was the end of it. It sounded awesome. Put it through the tubes? The tubes? Um, yeah, it organics the sound. Jolite, if I hope I'm, if, am I, if I'm screwing names up, I apologize. But Jolite. I know because I've messaged this 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 person as well. He looks as dope. Uh, Says Bubba Busky. Bubba Busky. Bubba Busky. Yeah. Cannot yeah. wait for the album. Uh, today's song was fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, Shannon Gilmore says, uh, "Did you bring enough for everyone?" Balls. Of course he didn't. Uh, what kind of question is that? Plenty. Yeah, for for you. I can't believe gin, you know gin is like ninety four proof. Some of them. It's up there. You gotta be careful with gin. Get those gin blossoms on your nose, you know? You gotta be careful. <laughs> How many songs are gonna be on the new album? Uh, again, there's 11, 11 songs, and it's uh, a, a, a tit over 60 minutes. Uh, let's see. Joe Hervey says, Man, I always wanted to try the Line 6 HD unit. Uh, Bent Rosem says, JMP1 in the Mesa 290 power amp is a killer rig. Yeah, dude. Yep. Yeah, JMP one is a good sound. That's basically the sound we got on the viewing. That's the guitars. Yep. That's the guitar sound on the, the viewing. <clears throat> Mike, when we discussed doing this, did we um, did we talk about anything we discussed talking about? <laughs> kind of, right? I don't know. We're we're riffing right now. I don't know. We got some questions. <laughs> well, our buddy Cameron Brown joined. Hey, Cameron. He's on Instagram now. And uh, he has helped out uh, kind of sharing what we're posting now. And uh, he's kind of been helping me with the whole Instagram thing, getting me up to speed because, uh, you know, I'm not a huge oh. social media poster and all that oh. stuff. So thank you, Cameron. Thank you. You know, all the help we can get. You know, we're a bunch of old timers at this point. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> old fats. Number 22. 22. Um, what else we got? He says, no sweat at all. Very cool. Come on, somebody ask a question. What's going on? Yeah, we're, we're sharing music. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Old balls. Hey, somebody asked about... Uh, <laughs> somebody asked um, what kind of new bands... We're listening to it. Mike, you are more of a... Um, yeah, the king of new bands. Yeah, you're the, Mike is weird. Like the king of new bands. Usually when you get older, over the age of... What, what did that study? There was a study recently about, like, as you get older, you don't really seek out new music anymore. Um, but Mike, to his credit, still, he'll send, you know, me and the other guys, like, links. Say, check this band out. I'll look at it. I'll close it. I won't even listen half the time. But sometimes I will. And... Uh, <laughs> But what what are some new bands you're digging, Mike? Well, Wild Nothing is probably like my new favorite band. Like you know, that's indie rock stuff. I don't know how many people are familiar with that, but they're awesome. They're from Brooklyn. Um, lately, like you know, last couple of years, you know, I was really into Twelve Foot Ninja stuff. And mm -hmm. I think they're a really cool bands as far as different and but like doing old things, kind of Mr. Bungley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're cool. Mm -hmm. What else? Or new bands. Good. I didn't tighten this mic stand. What is that? What's happening? What is been using some code orange? They're kind of badass. Um, what else? 
don't know. I'm drawing a blank right now. Well, I would say the, the couple new bands that I got into, they're not really new. Um, but I would say I, I listen to a lot of stuff like that sounds kind of like 80s rock, man. Um, what kind of 80s rock, though? Like hard rock. Um, two bands off the top of my head. Two bands off the top of my head. Uh, Crazy Licks and Heat. A band from Sweden called Heat. And actually, both bands are from Sweden. Crazy Licks and Heat. Um, so if you get a chance, check those guys out. I dig them. Johnny Bean asks, "What guitars did you use on the new song slash album?" Well, I'll show you the main guitar, the rhythm guitar. Or the rhythm guitars were recorded with this. Didn't have the rainbow sticker that Ellie put on. My daughter put this sticker on my guitar, and uh, I can't take it off. Can see the rainbow? Oh, How sorry. Over here. There you go. It's but, like a decoder ring. <laughs> what this or the actual or the sticker? <laughs> the actual stickers, like a like a it reminds me of like a mood ring or something. Oh, um, it's a uh, nineteen ninety one. I've been as universe, even though there's no universe on the headstock. I don't know what happened, but it's not there. You acquired that, interestingly, right? Like we were in, uh, is that the one you got from California? Was yes. From Beach? Yep. From uh, Jimmy's uncle? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. I was, I'll give the quick story. Um, my, uni my mirror pickguard universe is downstairs, so I can't get it right now. But I always, that was my main guitar for a while. And then, uh, actually, for a long while, because the frets were shot on it. But, um, we stayed with Jimmy's uncle when we were on the road in California, and he, he was a blues player. And as we we're like staying at his house, I walked past his band room and I saw this guitar just like hanging on like a three guitar rack. And I was like, You have a universe? And it was one of those moments, and guitar players know this. Once you like touch a guitar and feel it, you're like, Oh my God. And I had to have that guitar. It took me about a year and a half to get him to part with it. But eventually he did and uh this was the main guitar. And even, I would say, most of the solos and stuff were recorded with this guitar as well. Um, right? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, I think <laughs> nine, I would say 98% of the guitar of, of the guitar of the album was recorded with this guitar. <laughs> yeah, Jay recorded a lot of the rhythm guitars on the album. This was only on it for like a solo, I think I recorded with this one, which is the newest one I have. Um, but I took too long describing what guitars we used I on the album. I that guitar for my rhythm parts, actually. I didn't use my actual guitars. Nope. Maybe I use it on some of my lead parts, but the rhythm guitars were all done, I think, with the, the mirror pick guard universe. No, this one, the rhythms. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah. This was, this was my main... Main guitar, man. Maybe I'm saying that because of that picture, uh, the one picture of me and Chris. I'm playing the that mirror Pickard universe. Yeah. And he's playing the upright. Yep. Yeah, because I wouldn't let you touch this. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> and Jimmy, guitars are staying in tune. I know that's why I'm playing. <laughs> uh, let's see. What kind of guitars do you guys use? We're big Ibanez guys. Uh, we were with them uh, back in 2005 and six, and then we never put out another record till now, so we uh, <laughs> they let us go. Nugs Nuts Tattoo says, is that still the Evolution and Air Norton? Yes, it is, man. Evolution in the bridge and the uh, Air Norton. I? Yeah, and the Air Norton in the neck. Uh, Drew Marshall Drums asks, what's the heaviest song of all time in your opinion? The, the heaviest guitar? No, the heaviest song of all time. That's, that's such a... Like Pantera or fucking Slipknot. And like one of the, one of the two. Or, or, future, or future Breed Machine from uh, Meshuggah. That's, up, that's yeah. up there. You know, the first time I heard the, the Great Southern Trend Kill, the opening track on the Great Southern Trend Kill, I was like, damn. Yeah. I, I, like, I almost didn't like it. It was so heavy at the time. I was like, damn, they really changed it up from Far Beyond Driven. You mean from... Uh... No, from Far Beyond Driven. <laughs> oh. 
For some reason, I thought you were talking about Far Beyond Driven for a second. No. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Somebody asked to put the uh, song in the Johnny Bean Discord. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, Joe Hervey says, Jay, you guys played with Slipknot. We did. We did a two-week tour with them, Lamb of God, and Shadows Fall back in 2005, right? Five, yeah. That yeah. was right before Ozfest, I believe. Yep. Um, yeah. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Soup's got to go. See you, Soup. Like, before that, and then it was that, and then Ozfest. Yep. But, yeah, that was, uh, that was good times. How much time do we have on the Instagram? I can't tell how long we've been alive. I think you'll only get an hour, right? Well, you can't like end it and then like restart it and then another hour. I mean, we can, but you know, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go too too long. Um, Matt Jackson asks, "Where did you guys record?" Well, the drums were recorded at Spin Studio in in uh, New York City, which is the same studio we recorded the imbuing in. Yeah, Long Island City, Queens. Yeah, um, everything else was recorded. Uh, Newburgh or New Windsor? Oh yeah, uh, South Carolina. Yeah, basically yeah. in in my room up here, my bonus room slash studio, but in New York it was whatever. And then obviously Bjorn's vocals were recorded in Sweden because <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know flying him over here would have been uh he's from there. yeah. Um. Jesse B. Nicholson says, my dad's band played with you guys once. What? Wow. Get it? What band? What band was he in, dude? Are you kidding me? What city? Yeah. How many people were there? <laughs> we literally have played in front of three people in weird, in different cities than New York. Fucking wild. You know? Like yeah. You go out there and you, you play and there's only three people in the crowd but they're pumped as shit and you're playing for just them you still sort of get into it it's fucking cool <laughs> well I, I was talking about that on uh one of the with johnny one of the shows and uh we were discussing like cbgb's and like the bathroom and you know talking about those those shows I and mean, we played in, at cbgb's what like three four times and every time was like a, a tuesday or a wednesday and you're only playing in front of like the other right. bands and, the, and you guys played there before i joined the band like you guys played there a bunch i was like total of like three or four times for sure wow um it's brad says there was plenty of people in massachusetts when you opened for dry kill logic that was our first tour right the head pe dry kill logic tour dry kill logic was on that tour yeah damn a long time ago man it was um we did, we did a little thing in 2004 don't forget with Ray playing bass, you know, we played uh, with Mushroom Head. We went out, they took us out for our first thing ever. Oh, that's right. Wow. Well, we got 15 on Instagram and we got 47 watching on, on Johnny Bean TV here on uh, YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. This is the yeah. first time we, this is the first time me and Balls are doing something like this. And hopefully we continue to do stuff like this. Um, it's just, it's been so long since we've put out new music that it's like, you know, you always want to like let your fans and, and people know what you're doing. But like with the whole Kickstarter thing and we all like felt like borderline embarrassed that the album wasn't out. So we're like, hey, Jimmy's in here now. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Uh, uh, so anyway. All late shit. Yeah. Like we got a couple writing questions here. Uh, Tube Supio number one says the new the new song rocks. Thank you very much. That's nice. To, nice to hear that after all this time. Um, Spencer uh, asks, "Hey, hey, Spence, what's up, man? Just curious if you guys got together and jammed together to come up with most of the ideas on the new record. I know you guys kind of live far apart. Yeah. Well, I moved. I moved out of new out of New Windsor or uh, out of New York in 2010. So the album was." Like we're all written, and for the most part, like the drums and and the guitars were were already recorded. So we were able to like work those songs out together. Yeah. Um, yeah. The majority of the album, the songs are written together. It was, you know, it was supposed to be like the, you know, the follow up to an imbuing. All these songs are old in a sense at this point. You know, like 
they were done being written in 2008. Like the newest song is from 2008. We got 2000, you know, six a bulk of it, 2007. Yep. I was saying earlier. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, it's been refined over the last, you know, 12 years or so. Oh, yeah. When we say done, it doesn't mean like they were completely, completely finished. It's just like the the gist of like the writing and the skeletons of the songs. But yeah. things have definitely songs changed a little bit. Separately. You know, we had some songs that me and you did, Jay, and a little using a drum machine. Yep. Some of that, you know, some song I wrote away from Gizmachi that I was just, I just came out of, you know, being actively in Gizmachi. So it sounded like it and ended up getting the, you know, the okay from Jay and Jimmy. We worked on it and, you know, yep. stuff like that. It's, it was a big time gap there. So everything got included that we felt, you know, was going to make the cut. So, um, there's another one on here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, the hell did it just go? Brendan Butcheek says, I saw you guys at the Chance in Poughkeepsie with Mushroomhead. Great show. I was rocking with the Hatchers and the Hannons. For those of you who don't know, the Hatchers are the drummer, my, my drummer's parents, and the Hannons are my parents. <laughs> um, they know the part. Ben Rosem says, is Ellie Vi making an appearance on the new album, on drums maybe? She, she It's funny you say that because she does make a little appearance. Um, at the end of one of the songs, there's a rain stick, and I brought her up here, and I had her hold the rain stick. I set up a microphone and had her turn the rain stick and recorded it. So she is. That's right. I remember you telling me about that. Yep. Every time I hear it. That pops in the mind, and I'm like, "Did you say that to me? I haven't asked him about that in a minute." Yep. Um, here's this one's for you, balls. It's got to be. Uh, S G R E B B asks, "What?" <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm thinking of all the things that you could answer this with. He says, "What was the worst thing that happened while playing a show?" Oh man, what were you in uh, New Jersey? What? Which Canada, one are you going to turn? Jersey, maybe, and like my amp crapped out on me. I was like, oh man, and I couldn't get it back. You know, when it's working and then suddenly it's not working, you're like, uh oh. What the hell it could be? It's like a full blown troubleshooting event. <laughs> so, like, I'm sitting there and I'm like playing and I'm like, I can't get it back on. And like, you're like on stage and you're nervous and you feel like everyone's looking at you at that point. So, you go to the microphone and you're just kind of like standing up there and I was like, and I couldn't hear myself in the monitors that day. My vocals were not coming out of the monitors at all. So I'm like talking and like, I'm like, is anyone hearing me? Anyone at all? Looking around and I see like two dudes down in the front, like they're like 16 year olds and like they're looking at me and they're like, yeah, I fucking hear you, dude. <laughs> I couldn't hear myself at all. And then on top of that, I couldn't play. So then I just started rocking out, you know, playing with no amp, you know, just to like go through the motions, like, fuck it. Like my amp's not working anymore. Might as well not stand up here like. <laughs> so that's basically how that went. And that was that was on Ozfest. That was like the third day of Ozfest, Ozfest, wasn't it? That was like the yeah, like third or fourth. And not only that, I blew my voice out early on on Ozfest. It was like not good at first. And then I like you know finally got through it, and that by the end we had it pulled together. But yeah, if we Ozfest was only a few months longer, <laughs> we were in shape. Yeah. By the end, we had it together. But at first, it was like problems, mainly with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had a rough go early on. Um, Joe Hervey, good night. He says, got to go, boys. Uh, good night. Tube Supio says, great production. He's cr he's cranking it right now on his headphones. Dude, Mark Lewis is the guy who mixed it. Um, yep. and the guy in general. Yeah. he. It's funny. He was actually mine and Mike's guitar tech on OzFest. And after, yeah. yeah, after that was over, he, um, he became he a, a what? <laughs> he went the fuck on. Yeah. He became, he, a, he was a recording engineer, engineer. producer. Yeah. Recording. And, uh, the initial plan was to have me do it all, but it just, it was one of those things where, um, I just, I kept fighting myself, you know, second guessing every move I made and then having like everybody in the band kind of, kind of pull you in different directions. Fuck. 
and uh <laughs> and uh we just came up with a decision like let's 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 have somebody else do it and we all just thought of mark and he was like shit i'd love to be a part of this record so um let's see Lambden says, very excited about the new album. I've been periodically revisiting the older version of Voice of Sanity, and it always gets me going. Yeah, some people prefer the uh, the older version of that, and I prefer Mike not making a racket while we're trying to, you know, be live I'm here. sorry. Jesus. <clears throat> um, Mike not making a racket. Thrice, which is Jimmy, says, what about when your guitar and amp flew off the stage at that weird-ass show in the city of Newburgh? I remember that. That was when, yeah, man, I, I, <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, like I had my guitar. I was like, you know, I did a little sound check, and then I was like playing my guitar. I'm like, hell yeah, and then like, you know, sounded good. Put it down, put it on top of my cabinet, and I remember, I think it was Sean, our singer at the time, with like he went up there and he like accidentally bumped it. No, like, no, 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 no. He did not actually bump off. it. He was trying to move your your cabinet back a little to get it to like i guess because it was a weird it was back almost a little meant one of the casters off the edge and then following the other three the you guitar know, like, bad. the guitar fell first and then the his mike's cabinet <laughs> fell on top of his guitar now keep in mind this guitar not only fell off a stage and had an amp a four by twelve cabinet fall on it i also ran his guitar over with my car yep he <laughs> had a freaking silver ultima i think it might have been the first one at the time I'm sure you got that new 2001 at the time. <laughs> yeah, Doug, that <laughs> ran over my fucking guitar. He pulls open the guitar case and he's like, oh, whoa, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's fine. And then, like, I noticed, like, by the B string of my guitar, like, you know, the first thing that took the impact of his car, like, it really dug the, the, <laughs> the strings dug into my frets and actually gouged them out. So, like, every other time I would put. My guitar strings on it would matter like where it would hit that coil area so my b string would buzz sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i still remember oh man it must have ran over it perfectly though because like i was thinking when i bumped it over because you put you went outside after band practice you put your guitar long ways <laughs> in front of my car i didn't see it like a, like a clown shoe yeah and next thing you know oh zach thong says later it's good night and next thing you know, like I just I pulled up to like pick you up or something in the driveway and the I was like, I think I just ran balls of guitar over. <laughs> and my brother was in the guitar in the guitar in the car at the time. <laughs> he was. And he got out and he's just like, holy shit, he was just observing, and you were just like, Oh, look, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> you were selling it to me, it was fun. Yep. And I believe and I believed it. <laughs> and ultimately it was. There was no stress cracks, nothing. And ultimately that guitar, like you never had an issue with with setting it up. The no. action was was great on it, right? Yep, and that's why I ended up putting those bare knuckles in that thing. It's a beast. It deserves it. Yep. Um, let's see. What am I missing here? Um. Oh, Spencer uh, uh, says again. He says it's so cool that even though those songs were written a while ago, they still sound so fresh and new. That's what I love about you guys is that your sound is <clears throat> always ahead of its time. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's a good compliment. Thank you. Yep. And Johnny is here. He says he's just chilling. Hope all is well. And again, thank you, Johnny, for giving us this uh, this platform, you know. Yes, appreciate it. Yep. Very cool. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> This jockey voice. So. Yep. Yeah. He's, Johnny has a good voice. I listen to it when I go to bed and when I do other things. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> yep. Hey, anybody in in the uh, on the Instagram feed? What does the time say? How many minutes have we we've been live for? Dude, it has to have been past an hour at this point. I don't know. It's got to be pretty close, man. We got to be running out of gas. It's pretty. It's pretty close. Getting a ton of questions. Which we're at, we're at fifty five minutes on YouTube. Fifty five minutes on YouTube. And we started YouTube after Instagram. Yeah. So you probably got like two minutes. All right. I guess any last minute questions for anyone who's out there. <clears throat> yeah. 
I mean, we might have skipped a bunch, right? You've been on this, Jay. I mean, you're you do this sort of thing for a living, right? For a living, yeah. I wish it was. <laughs> Nesdal says, uh, Dave Nesdal, who is a, a co-host with uh, Johnny and, and me on um, on the on the channel, says the song sound. Now, keep in mind, Dave is not by any stretch of the imagination a metalhead. Uh, but he says, song sounds great. The heavy parts are hard to hear on the phone, but the slow down middle section is badass. Well, don't listen on your phone. No, I know it's it's going to be on your phone right now. I get it. But yeah. yeah. That's um, the thing, man. It's like listening to it on these little speakers. I mean, they've made leaps and bounds as far as technology, like the clarity that you hear things at on your little speakers on your phone are like so much better than they were like five, six, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. But. You know, it's not like listening to it on a stereo where you got bass and you got bottom and you can hear that low end. Like right now, like, you know, our bass player isn't getting served up at all. Can't really hear what's going on in the in the bass frequency. So that's why when the album comes out, you want, you might want to hear it on a, a, a good stereo or something. Yep. Uh, Brendan Buttcheeks asks, Jay, how big is Ball's hair right now? Well, let's see. Hold on. Let me, it's pretty big. Let me, let me disconnect you from here real quick. Fucking bell hair. Let me see. Hold on. Oh my! I know you. I know many men have heard this, but my cable's too short. Let's see. What do you? Oh, that's Johnny. Johnny put that up there. Yeah, it's yep. So there's my beautiful guitar player, my my uh, fellow axe man. You didn't like hearing that, did you? What? <laughs> so there you go. And now I can't get this working. Okay, here we go. Newberg Mike, Mike Ponder says balls hair. He throws up the uh, the metal horns. What? The, I can't get this damn thing. What is going on, Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't normally wear my hair down ever, so figured I'd do it tonight. Just a special <laughs> special occasion for me, special just for occasion. me. You got to look the part, right? Yeah, just like me. <laughs> um, let's see what else. What do we got to cover here? Um, it's Brad says, gl just glad to see you guys back finally. Well, thanks. It's glad to be back and have some. Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. That's for sure. I've been been dying over here myself. But well. Everybody out there that's been dying to hear it, think of how we feel. Like we've had this music for so long, and it just feels awesome to like finally have people hear, even if it is just one song right now. Yeah, it's like we have the shit done. It's like all right, you know, things can't move. Oh, live ended on Instagram. Uh oh, so that that that's an hour then, huh? Yep, that's an hour. <laughs> well, hold on, let me um hold on a second. Can I send him this link? Yeah. We're gonna are we doing a Saturday night live tonight? Strategy night live? Yeah. What is it? It's six o'clock here, seven, eight. So in about three hours. Okay. And well, the session the session's already up. Everything's there. So. Okay. Yeah, if he wants to jump in to this, well, he I, can he can I jump can't stay this. for too long anyway, but um he's not gonna be able to figure this out getting in here. Um, if he does, I sent them the link just in case he does, but I will say that everybody, I, everybody that has checked the song out, um, hold on. Thank you very much for checking it out. If you haven't checked it out, uh, follow us on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, and check Let, this song out. Links are in the description. Links are in the description. Thank you for doing that. And, uh, you know. Join us in three hours for the Saturday Night Live extravaganza. That is Saturday Night Live. Now Mike Ball started a live video. What a douche! No. <laughs> 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 but again, everybody, thank you for for tuning in, and Johnny, again, thank you for uh, letting us do this on here. Yeah. Oh, anytime, man. Anytime. Hey, Dwight. So. Yeah, everybody. I've been sitting here watching the entire thing too with you guys. We'll have to do something soon. We'll get the whole band on one night. You know what I mean? When uh, maybe when we either put another song out or the album comes out, mm -hmm. 
and people actually give a shit, you know, we'll get everybody on here and uh, <laughs> maybe I can uh, put a call into Bjorn from Sweden and get him on here and get some of his, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of fans in here. That would be, that'd be something else, man. There you go. You know, I actually, I, I know, I know about the time difference because I actually, I watch a live streamer named Bjorn in mm -hmm. Sweden, a different guy. And I know the, the difference is like backwards. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. It is. Share to story. Why not? Oh, well, my, I think Mike's having a problem getting in. So we'll just, we'll screw this. Um, he said he was by himself on that link. What what happened? Nah, I don't see him. Oh well. Screw it. Yeah. This is a good hour. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh you can talk more about this later on too. Actually, shit, I don't know if I can. I gotta mix that song tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. Crap. <laughs> well, maybe I'll finish it up. I'll try to get it done as fast as possible. Not that I want to rush anything. But if I, how about this? If I do get done, hold on. Yo. Yo, what the fuck happened? Instagram ended. I sent you the link to be on the show with Johnny and me. Yeah, and it like it just showed myself. Yeah, you then you have to hit join broadcast. It didn't give me that option. What the fuck? See, I told you. He's not going to be able to figure it out. I'm fucking uh. half retarded. You can't be doing that shit to me. Fucking. Send me another link. I'll get on there. <laughs> well, it's the same link. Huh? It's the same link. <clears throat> Fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. I know that. <laughs> I know that. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> hold on a second. I'll call you back. Just call, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm getting hot up here. I'm turning red because it's it's like, <laughs> was it 95 degrees up in this shit? Oh, I'm man. freezing here, man. Oh, here he is. You got him? Or somebody's here. Well, let's hope it's Mike. Here you go. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're in the house. What are you doing? I don't know. Having a couple drinks. Everybody, this is Chris, the bass player from Gizmachi. <laughs> <laughs> I sent, I didn't realize, I sent the link to the... Um, the group text chat with with me and the rest of the band. I thought I ooh look at that. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize. I, said, I could see your eyes, man. You're you're having a good day, aren't you? I'm just tired, actually. Oh. I thought I, ooh look at that. I hear, <laughs> I hear it in the background. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's right. So you figured out how to get in here with no problem, not even me explaining, and balls still can't get in. That's right. <clears throat> that's why I tried it. <laughs> well well oh man well everybody's saying hi i don't know if you can see a chat but uh bent rosem says hey now christian gilmore hey what's going on guys you got 50 people looking at you right now plus me oh, sweet yeah i'd like and, that and i know uh johnny likes your hat oh sweet you guys wear the same hats oh nice he's got good taste then he does. I could never pull it off. My face is too long. So what's going on out there? <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> Brad Friggin, he has a question for you, Chris. He says, are you still playing the Warwick? Oh, <laughs> not too often. <laughs> I actually got a, a ton of bases now and, uh, yeah, I'm very select in what I play. Balls is still texting. <laughs> Join the show. Chris is on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Poor bastard. How? It out. He's asking how. <laughs> oh, Click. it's not that hard. That's funny that uh, Johnny let you in. I, I thought Balls was going to be coming in. <laughs> like, well, here he is. Wait, I th that's not him. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Yeah. Uh, Bry the sign guy wants to know if you have a Firebird base. I don't actually. 
I, uh, I was never really interested in those bases. Okay, thanks for elaborating on that. Um, yeah. Ben yeah. Rosen says, great song, Christian. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. What's the base? Uh, what do you say? Brad says, what's the go? Oh, what's your go-to base right now? That's a good question. I like that. Oh, it is a good question. Uh, probably Am I here? Probably a Fender Jazz right now as far as four string. Uh, <laughs> my five string is the Dingwall Combustion. Ooh. Combustion hey. Chamber. Oh, Mike made it. I'm here. Hi, guys. <laughs> For Christ's sake. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Check my buttons. Fuck. Looking more flaming than ever. Fuck yeah, man. Put on some pounds. It's fucking I'm 38. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Brendan Butchie says, I see balls. Yep. Fucking flaming. Yep. Uh, ben Rosen says, Chris, what amps did you use on the new song? Well... <laughs> I can ask that. I mean, we sent the DI, the bass DI track, to um, to Mark to, to mix. So he reamped, he reamped the guitars and he reamped the bass. So you'd have to ask him what he used. So there you go. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yep. But it sounds good. It does sound good. Yep. So I can't see any questions or at this point. You'd have to like go into the YouTube. Uh, I think right. well, you're doing a good job with narrating. Uh, I like you. Well, we got. I'm going to stay on for another. Uh, let's do another like what? Ten minutes? You want? You guys want to do another ten minutes? Sure. Let's do another fucking half hour, forty five. <laughs> gotta go soon. I, we got start. I got to start putting Ellie to bed sooner, man. <laughs> We're <laughs> I've been that kid up way too late. She's amped oh, up. Oh man. Yep. Well, you know what it is. Like she, like around nine thirty ish, she gets a little tired. And if we don't nip it in the bud right there, she hits. She gets that, you know, second wind, and uh, it takes a little while. So, well, yeah, you don't like sounds... waking up early either. No, no, I do not, yeah. and that's not that's not good. I, you know, I know my wife's watching downstairs, but I'm still gonna, you know, say something really, really kind. She has uh, been a trooper with uh, with Killian, the new guy. Um, so. I'll tell you, one kid to two kids is like holy shit. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big jump for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big I'm just jump for you. I feel like it would be a big jump for me as well. Well, what one is, but yeah, but one to two, it's like whoa. We're just lucky that Ellie's good. Like we don't have to really, you know, worry about her doing anything crazy. But um, <laughs> that picture you put up of her earlier was the shit too. Put a little shirt on. Mm -hmm. Good one. Yep. Um, Hugh Caldwell has a question for the band. He says, do you guys have a method for writing together? A method? You know what? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I guess that's a good fucking way to put that. Um, I do. We, we, were, we were starting to get into a method, I guess you could say. Like, I don't know. It was weird. Funny we had thing a method. Is, on this link, I can't hear balls. Really? Yeah. The fuck? You could hear me, Jack? That's weird. I can hear no both. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> so he's laughing. He's like, oh, I just hear fucking. L Lucky Chris. Chris can't hear Mike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll answer that real quick. I'll try to at least. I mean, basically, like, when we wrote, you know, every song that we have, we would just stand in a room together. And if somebody had a riff, hey, what do you think of this riff? Then the drum beat gets added or a lot. I'll tell you something right now. And you guys, you know, you know this more than anybody as well. But like a lot of the weirdly syncopated off time rhythm parts were like, I, I would say a lot of them were written on drums, like Jimmy playing a cool drum beat and then us kind of writing a riff to that drum beat, which is very strange, I think, you know. Yeah, there was some of that. We hit to a like a sort of a change format kind of vibe like early on like when I joined the band in '99 like it was a transition period and then like like '99 was like one way and then like by 2001 two three like in that area like it was already 
starting to get a little more refined. Like things were getting different as far as songwriting. You know, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. Um, Spencer asks, when the album drops, can I buy an actual uh, CD? I would rather have a hard copy than download it. I'm old school, I guess. Yes. Yeah, there'll be a physical copies of it for sure. Yep. You know, it'll be it'll be old school. You know, it'll be like that mid '90s area, early '90s when you get a CD. You know, what it looked like and what was in it. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks that Chris can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah, it does because he'd be like helping me out. Here. Well, I can hear him with a <laughs> delay. I'm he hears you with a delay, probably coming through my end or something like that. But um. No. No, I got it through Facebook too. Oh, oh. Ah. gotcha. I got a delay, huh? Like how long? Like a two second? Oh, that was <laughs> right very good. Damn. Like a like a twelve second. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Well, Sorry, don't man. communicate with me, that's no. for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. It's nine seventeen on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. It's, it feels like it's like twelve seventeen. Yeah, it's forty four. Still watching on Facebook, which or Instagram. Jesus Christ, on YouTube, which is cool. How many uh, people are watching us right now? Forty four. Damn. Thanks to Johnny. Well, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. Really. Yes. And everybody, what else can we talk about? Like, I don't even know at this point. We have questions. Well, we can do this again eventually. You know. Um, but I guess since there's no more questions rolling in, unless anybody has any last minute request, request. what's your favorite song from the shit? What the hell was that? I dropped my phone. Sound like it's a <laughs> bang. Uh, SD Design asks favorite rock songs from the 60s. Oh, that's a Rock good one from the 60s. Hell yeah. I, I love like almost anything Beach Boys from the 60s. I'm a big fan of fucking Doors. Obviously Hendrix. You know, all the cookie cutter shit you would think of. I'm thinking of like uh I saw her singing in the rain. Rain drops falling on her. It was that was that shit. <laughs> You know, there's a ton of 60s and 70s stuff. I'm a huge fan of. I can't even tell you right now. They, they finally heard it because I heard it downstairs. I yeah, it's it. so <laughs> weird to hear it delayed. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I got a lot of weird... It's all about the singles of the 60s, you know, especially me being a, a oh, 90s man. cat. Mm-hmm. You know, 60s, it's like my parents grew up playing that like when i was growing up i heard a lot of 60s a lot of 50s patsy klein you know tony bennett freaking andy williams fucking all that stuff you know but like i got into the 90s early 90s just were out in that pearl jam nirvana you know allison chains all that good stuff in the 90s big fan huge fan so chris let's hear from you what do you think the uh the 60s stuff 60s stuff. Yep. I'm actually just catching up to what Mike said. I agree with a lot of what he said, you know, as far as the doors and, you know, Be- Beatles. You know, yeah, I grew up on the Beatles. Beatles. My parents were huge fans of theirs. So, mm-hmm. you know, they, they they were the pop kings to me. Fuck so yeah. I, I still listen to a lot of their stuff. Uh, You know, there there isn't really much I don't listen to, so... 60s era was huge as far as just experimentation and you know yep. trying to get a, a better sound and you know yeah, I, studio I like work. all that oh, shit. Yeah. Hendrix all, all that stuff Joplin so you guys are more of that stuff than me even though you know yeah, I, sure. I love doo-wop and stuff like that but um, I'm more of like a 80s <laughs> fuck yeah 80s <laughs> uh, yeah 80s and yeah. metal like even minimal seventies, like you know, you like some hits, but like eighties is your shit, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You bring you bring all that element into Gizmachi for sure too. All that stuff. Where are you 80s going? Eighties element, element is strong, and I like 
I get pumped because my dad was into the '80s element, and ultimately, like I, I could relate to the '80s element you know, that you are you're into, and it's a weird thing we got going on for sure, as far as like what we're into. Yeah, um, Amanda Coombs says, "Hey everyone, been listening. This is great, Jay. Thank you. Just me though, not 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 you two guys, just me." <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're the pro with this. We're Typical. just kind of here. Yeah, right. Uh, Spencer, Spencer has another question. He says, was everyone really friendly on the OzFest tour? Uh, was everyone pretty down to earth? It was my dream to play that festival. As far as other bands? or Be they, careful. Oh. Be careful. <laughs> Dude, this is on the internet. <laughs> I know. I want to be honest about stuff too, but I know that this is like forever. And I don't want to get, next thing you know, I'm blabbermouth. Not that anybody gives a shit what we say, but you never know. Well, my who whole was, opinion on it. Who was cool? Who was cool? Mudvayne Wicked Wisdom was cool. Was really Mudvayne cool. was really cool. Uh, Wicked Wisdom was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, most of the bands were cool. Yeah. yeah well, like, everybody we, um, kind of as respected dying, each other as it was, uh, and, and helped each other along. You know, especially us. We were, we were the new people. So we yeah. all struggled together. And I'm sure some, some other bands and some other people maybe thought that we, you know, shouldn't have been on that tour yet, but fuck them. <laughs> That's right. Oh, they definitely did. Yeah, I, understandably in a sense, but, you know, whatever. I, whatever. <laughs> Brad Friggin says, Ryan from Mudvayne is one of the nicest guys I have ever met. Yep. He definitely is. I remember talking to him about that that bass line in Severed when I was outside the Chance in Poughkeepsie, New York. I was just like that middle do 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 like that little bass line that he has in the middle of that song. I was just like that shit's awesome. And he was just like, it was like he understood how much I thought that was awesome. And he had that vibe, and I'll never forget that. <laughs> You know, well, he, he was ge he was genuine as fuck. So, you know, I appreciated that from him. Well, there's a picture of uh, the singer from Mudvayne, and I'm blanking on his name right now. Is it? It's Chad, right? Yeah, Chad Gray. Yeah, yeah. from Mudvayne on Ozfest wearing a Gizmachi shirt. Yeah, wait. And also, there's a. It was actually a little small article in the Rolling Stone magazine at the time where Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife, who was in Wicked Wisdom. Actually, I had a Gizmaji shirt on and like a photo in Rolling Stone magazine. I was, I was like, "That's that's fucking cool." Yep. At the time, I was like, you know, you know, I'm Rolling Stone magazine, and here she is getting publicity, and here she is wearing our shirt. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um. Let's see. That might be it. It's uh, nine twenty-four, and. Yeah. Uh, Again, we have 49. The viewers are going up, man. Shit. <laughs> hey, I got nothing else to do. You can hang out. I don't care. Well, I like I said, I gotta go. Uh, like you, like I said, yeah, you gotta, you got fucking family obligations <laughs> and shit. Yeah, you know what would be awesome, everybody? I'll leave Chris and Mike in here, where Chris <laughs> came to Mike and he has to guess what Mike is saying. <laughs> yeah, that that's bad. You get it. It's like, all right, you gotta leave. Leaving Chris and Mike. No, that'll just be a fucking train wreck. Oh, uh, that's funny. And he just went and did it. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> and he just went and did it. Oh, shit. I'll be Chad right quick. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's hearing it. For <laughs> she is. Damn, that's the delay. It's like two what? seconds, three seconds. Yeah. I'm on the yeah. They're hearing you. Shit. So funny, like 10 oh, seconds God. later, somebody responds. That's, right. That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, unless uh, you guys want to discuss anything real quick, uh, it sucks that you guys can't hear each other, but actually, it's kind of funny at the same time. <laughs> um, we'll have to do this. We'll discuss with Johnny. Maybe, you know, when uh, when things progress a little more and the music industry kind of kicks back up. Hey, hold on. I got a request before from somebody, and uh, let me see. Let's do this. I'm going to leave for, for 
45 seconds. And oh my, what? Who let this guy in? What? Oh no. Yo, what the fuck is that? Wi Fi here is it's iffy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Dude, those pic that picture you yeah. sent earlier was fucking classic. <laughs> Is he have a delay too? What the fuck? I can't hear shit. You can't hear anything. Damn. No, I was like, oh, yeah. right. Smart. You guys almost can hear him in the back. <laughs> Looks like I have your hair cut off on, on my head my head. That's your, that's cause your <laughs> that's because your sideburns are long. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Jimmy, can you hear Mike? You're you sound like shit. Oh. Yeah, what's up with that? You can hear me live, Jim. You hear you me right now? Like shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Where'd Jay go? He said he'll be back in like one minute. You know what it is? He's know. got. He's but the baby's now, dead? so he's got to come back. Uh, diarrhea. Ellie, Ellie is gonna. <laughs> hey! Oh, look at them all. She come all blasted in. What are you doing? All your uncles are on the screen. Holy smoke! Look at that. <laughs> all uncle, all, all uncles live. Hi. What do you see? Don't no 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 not the mouse pad. <laughs> yeah, don't touch that. Prick. Yeah. Not the red button. What Jimmy? Prick what are you doing? Shirt. Showing off your nutsack? Look at him. What is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> I saw a creep. I thought that was like. Now I can't hear anything. Oh, can't hear anything now? Who's that? <laughs> wow, we're off the rails now, boys. Uh oh. Uh, we're still oh, live? Man. Yeah, we're still live, man. Hour and 20. Is there any questions or like we're just here by ourselves live? I don't know. <laughs> hey. Oh, Facebook and. Guys? Uh oh. Welcome, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. That's Aunt Shannon. There's Vinny. Oh, Jesus. Vinny. Oh, there's my guitar noodle flying off the stand. <laughs> or not yet. <laughs> Can you guys hear each other now? Hello? Yeah. Wait. No, Chris. Can you hear me? Still can't hear balls. Chris, can you jump on and jump back in? I can. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Oh, wait. Everybody's back now. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? How about everybody? Thanks, we're, getting, we're getting monitored. We got to here. Come on. Sit on my lap. We'll, uh, we'll, we got to talk to these guys for a minute. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> oh, boy. Fired up. She's like, no, no, no. Too many people seeing me. I'm done. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Back. How about now? There he is. I'm in. You hear me? Yeah, I got you. You got me. I Live. Got you. Everybody can hear. You hear that? That's amazing. Um, yeah. Hell I yeah. was missing right. Green Alley, but Eddie turned Green Alley in on. Oh, oh yeah? And <laughs> he's standing. Like so this is amazing. That's the first time we've like seen each other in how long? <laughs> a long time. And Pretty amazing. Usually your shirt's off. <laughs> Damn, I look fat as fuck. Yeah, man. you kind of do. Wow. Makes the right four of us. Fucking barrel ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what getting old is about. Don't worry. Sure is. It happens to you out of nowhere. Damn. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jimmy's camera going sideways real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All messed up. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing? Well, now that Jimmy's here, we'll all leave. Yeah. Jimmy, see <laughs> Jimmy almost has like a Lloyd Chris Jimmy has a Lloyd Christmas slash Mo Howard hairdo right now. Look at that thing. It's like eighth grade. Oh. <laughs> Close. Reminds me of Ray like a couple years ago, actually. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> Ray's beard oh. is better. Oh. You left Gilmore? Damn, I'm like fucking tan as fuck compared to you guys. <laughs> That's because you're Italian. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Because <laughs> you work outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that too. 
Ellie, Ellie. Remember when you used to come on the show and not say anything? <laughs> Remember when you kind of look at the camera? Look. Oh, Amanda says, Samantha says hello to Ellie. Boy. I say, hi, Samantha. No? She's as porcelain skinned as Jimmy when he was that age. <laughs> That's a cop. <laughs> now we're just old pair of nuts. Oh my god! Oh, come on, come on. All right. Well, since this is going nowhere and nowhere fast, and my kid is getting into everything that's on my desk right now, and she thinks it's funny. You want that? All right. We can't I guess we'll uh, call it a day. I don't know. Ellie, I was wants to know Ellie Vibe's favorite cartoon. Favorite cartoon. She's like, okay, it's done. Over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and PJ Mask. Right. Don't what is that? Might be Jimmy. It is me. Oh, throwing it to the fucking beef. <laughs> 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 Oh, really? Baby oil on my feet. Everywhere. Who, Jimmy does? No. Oh, Spider Man? Yeah. Yeah. Spider Man. Well, Brad Friggin says this was enjoyable. Look forward to the next time you guys do it. Do this. Well, thanks, man. This is off the cuff. Literally, it is. Yeah, we could we could be like a like a new show, you know? Like we're fucking we're spontaneous. Spontaneous combustion. Busticate. <laughs> Who's talking in the background? <laughs> Mike. It's me. Who has the ball? <laughs> Tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, hey, who? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use hey, foul language. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not, not, not by nature. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Spencer says, Mike, your vocals are great, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. They came out good. I'm, I'm the most satisfied with the vocal sound as I've ever been in any Gizmachi recording mm -hmm. with the new album. Oh, so <laughs> Big fan. All right. Let's split. Nine more. Nine hey, there's Chris again. Hey, hey I'm back. Bastard. Oh, Chris is back. Let's leave her up. Yep, Kipsy. Your hairdo is awesome, Ellie. Look at that. Mm -hmm. As bad as I'd Jimmy's. I'd like to send out a, a hip ship <laughs> and a balls, like? balls to Jimmy Hatcher. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, you guys are getting a little sauce, man. I'm, I, I feel uh, left out, but. Uh, yeah. Well, you got to work. Yeah, I'm lit up. You know? I got to get out of here soon, though. Yeah. My, uh, All right, my, everybody, thank you. My thanks. wife and daughter are home. Got to get this plutonium back to the lab. Yep. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming out tonight. Daddy, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, yeah, anyone who tuned in for this full hour and 27 minutes and 28 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for sticking around and listening to Gizmachi. Yeah. All right, Dylan. All right. I guess this is a good night. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Good night. I show this to everybody. <laughs> All right, Ellie, Ellie, you scared everybody off. Where did everybody go? <laughs> what are you going to do? You want to say goodnight to everybody? Whoa! <laughs> you trying to bust the place up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do it again. That's my credit card. I know I'm going to buy you enough stuff. Wow. All right. Amazing. Everybody follow Gizmachi Band on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, thanks for coming out. And Johnny, again, thank you very much for, uh, for letting us do this. But I'm going to go. Stranded Night Live starts in two and a half hours. Daddy. Right here. Daddy. Yes, Ellie. What's that next to this paper? I don't know what that is. Box. That's a box. Okay. Good night, everybody. Two and a half hours. Friday Night Live with John BL, Neander Paul, and Johnny Bean. And I'm going to try to stop in. So, again, Johnny Bean TV. Good night, everybody. And don't forget Spider Man. Daddy, was that on your big speaker over there?
Where's on your speaker over there next to the box? I don't know what that is. Paper? It is paper. How about that? Wow. Did you grow on it? Johnny Bean.